BSP. So first off, we're going to kind of look at BSP and to start out with a new world, very important. Uh, the new world I want you to create is I want you to show uh, the following, but don't show any static meshes or volumes. Okay. And with static meshes on, you'll see that the, there's a cube in the scene and there's a ground plane. But what I would need to, you to understand is very basic things and take those out of the equation and they're easier to learn. So this is a BSP brush. Okay. It marks where BSP could be or could not be. In order to make something out of BSP at an early stage, you can just hit add. I can then go to like, let's say move and move the brush somewhere else. So I can move it over here and then add and then over here and hit add. But to grab this cube and move it around, that's a different story altogether because it's not really geometry. It's BSP material. Okay. So in order to actually move that, we would have to go into here, brush wireframe. Then I can grab the brush itself and then move it around. Now, if I'm in here, I toggle to brush wireframe and I highlight it and then go back to lit mode you can see that I can now see this actual object. So I can move it around anywhere I want. But you can see that the cube does not move anywhere. Let's go back and resize this one up. So here I have move, rotate, scale, and scale non-uniform. So I'm just going to scale this uniformly and I'll say move it up a little bit. Again, toggling over to lip mode, you can see nothing has changed within the scene. That's because BSP needs to be rebuilt, it's called. So if I want to now preview my moved objects, I have to go into build. I can now hit close and you can see everything's moved. Building does not take a whole lot of time. Building's very cheap. Now, let's look at maybe subtracting said cubes. So in this case, if I bring this into the foreground a little bit and zoom around, I can see that, you know, I have this within this object. And I could hit subtract and it'll carve a little hole in the object. And then I can move it over. Now that happens real time. Um, I do not have to rebuild it in order to see that change. But let's go into brush wireframe for a second. You can now see that there's two boxes. This is an additive box and this is a subtractive box. So if you look, if I move this subtractive box, let's say up here, and then go back to uh, lit, nothing's really changed until I hit build. And now you can see that it's, it's a different story altogether. It's, it's actually chopped away at the very top and things look different. So that's what I need you to understand first before we can go on is there is additive and subtractive. And you have to build in order to actually see the change of moving those additive and subtractive brushes around. All right, now let's go on to the next video where we can kind of uh, learn more about structure. When we're moving these things around, we don't want to just move these in perspective view. We want to move them corresponding to a grid of some nature. So let's look at that in the next video.